Yo, Scuba here! Welcome back to Arcadia! I've been away for a while. I spent about 100 hours playing Pal World with a friend of mine and it was really cool to play it. But now we finished the game and it's time to get back to Arcadia. And as you can see behind me, I've logged on to the server here and there, just chopping some wood to get some resources going. Today we're interested in this. But before we go there, I noticed something here. There's Three new shops on Amsterdam Street. Oh, and by the way, we actually are officially Amsterdam Street now. Oh, and we have Harbor View Ave. That's really cool. Right next to my shop, by the way, let's check, let's check. Did we make any sales? Nope, I have not made a single sale since we moved the shop here. <laughs> Anyway, right next to our shop we now have a little alleyway and this looks super awesome. We have some candied apples here. The side of our building is a bit boring now so maybe we can actually knock a hole into the wall here to make a tiny shop over here but that will be something for another time. We could also make some windows on this side so it's less bland. But anyway, we have the candied apples here and here we have bardas and baubles. This is where you buy the golden apple. Maybe it's not open yet. Should these be barrels? There's no barrels yet. Okay, let's go upstairs. We can buy string, leather, pearls, spectral arrows, fire charges, and we can get bulk orders here. Oh, and this actually goes into the second building. That's really cool. Let's see, we can buy quartz, quartz blocks, smooth quartz blocks, and all the way upstairs. Nether bricks and cracked nether bricks. Awesome. I don't think there's an upper floor to this, but... Oh, wait. This actually connects even more. This is so cool. Um, there's a reception here. On the bottom floor of QBs. There's another shop. Brandon's beautiful barter blocks. Alright. We've got a cozy little seating area here. Okay, the shops are upstairs. So let's go upstairs. And let's see. Oh, we can buy obsidian and crying obsidian here, soul soil and soul sand. And if we go all the way upstairs, the blackstone, gravel and I think, yeah, that's suspicious gravel. I don't know, that, does that actually look different from normal gravel? I don't know. So all these three shops are connected and they're all selling bartering goods. That's awesome. Thank you for shopping with us. I didn't buy anything. Alright, so let's get over to the tavern here. Because a couple of weeks ago, right after I played some Connect 4 with Korn, all of a sudden we were hanging around with I think 7 Arcadians total. It, maybe it was even 8. But that was a lot of fun. And that was a chance for most of us to finish our scavenger hunt book. I'm gonna let editor Scuba do something with this. So enjoy. Future Scuba here. I got stuck on editing the footage of our questing with the Arcadians for a long time now. It's been about a month since then and I really want to get this video out. So I decided to release my first behind the scenes of Arcadia. Right now in the top somewhere there's a link to the episode so if you're interested you can watch that. If you're not interested in watching that, the questing book is a bunch of questions to join the guild here. And the questions were about our fellow Arcadians. For example, we had to find someone with enchanted shears. Or someone who has 10 blocks of diamonds. We completed the book in the behind the scenes, but for this video, we're gonna go back to the past now and continue with the episode. That was a lot of fun. But since we now have our book finished, we can turn it in. Let's get up here to the questing guild and let's see. Coming soon, a questing guild shop. Diamond donations? I don't think I have much to donate. New books, done books. Here we go. And oh, uh, I guess I'm gonna need my head. Let's go get one. I should have some in my base. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Killed corn milk of course oh wait i think i need to sign the book let's double check it once more wait please sign and return the book and the requested player hat from number 30 oh request a head for the game master oh i think it should be a kill by corn i didn't request it but i did get it from her let's sign it i'm just gonna call it scavenger hunt there we go and let's put it there all right there we go we're finished and i guess now we can wait for the next stage of the questing tavern so let's get back to our village because because I want to do something about this. A road leads nowhere. How are people gonna get to there? We're gonna need a road here. And I want the road going 
all the way to the top here and then we need to connect the path over there to the road over here and also I want to make a build here and this one is gonna be quite a bit bigger than the buildings we have over there because we're gonna make an inn so people visiting the village can actually sleep there and maybe have a drink and we're also gonna make some stables here together with a house for the stable master so people on a horse can put away their horses in the stable so they don't lose them while they're visiting but before we do that I need to gather a whole bunch of materials so I guess I'm gonna do that now I'll see you in a bit all right I have gathered almost everything I need for our build Come on, right as I press record, it has to start raining. Oh, oh, stupid rain! Okay, anyway, I've gathered almost everything I need, but I still need a couple of things. So let's get this into our ender chest and let's head over to the shopping district. Oh, no, actually, let's first go to our base. Oh, this is pretty cool. I watched Doc M's first episode of the Hermitcraft season and he built something similar to this. I found this alley and I made a little redstone contraption so the alley could collect all my bamboo here. It didn't work at all, but now, thanks to Doc, it actually works. And this is a pretty simple contraption, so I'm pretty happy with that. Hard working alley. And look at that, he drops everything into this barrel here and I've collected a bit here oh um yeah actually one of the things I need is acacia so I do need to get back to my base first you see I've been chopping wood and I have almost every type of wood but right now I don't have much acacia left so let's plant some trees over there there we go now we can collect it later let's let our LA work for a bit there and let's go over here because I decided to make a new mine. So I dug down and then I decided a bubble column would be way better than this. So I made one and I started strip mining down here. What's actually funny is that I started with these two tunnels and if you look over here, <laughs> I'm actually two blocks next to another strip mine, purely by coincidence. But let's go upstairs again, because remember when I said I was poor? I only have five diamond blocks left, and that's why I've been mining. I mined 43 deep slate diamond ore, so let's see how much that gets us. I'm hoping to be able to fund my shopping spree. Yeah, I didn't really mine that long, but at least it's something. And that's my ender chest remover and my money collector, let's go. Let's see how much we get. And there we go. Oh, no, that's the last one. Almost one and a half stack. That's nice, that's nice. All right, with those diamonds, we have almost 16 blocks. Anyway, let's go shopping. First of all, we need basalt. Which shop might sell this? No, no, no. Let's check the ship. Oh, this is new. Cafe, cafe. Oh, that looks awesome. This is a lot of work. It goes on forever. Anyway, let's check the ship. Basalt. Looking for basalt. All right, I can't find basalt, but we do need mud. That's two diamonds per stack. Let's get nine stacks at least. There we go. Nine stacks of mud. I'm hoping that's enough. There's also mud bricks and packed mud, but I can make that myself. You know what? Let's go. Let's buy that too. I really don't want to go farm for weed. I re oh man wrong pickaxe <sighs> all right we've got some more obsidian again <laughs> now we need some terracotta and let's see is there actually a shop selling terracotta i'm not sure terracotta we need red terracotta let's see how much is it one diamond per stack let's get ourselves like three stacks should be enough i guess what else do we need oh yeah we need wool we need some brown and gray wool how much is it one diamond for three stacks so a gray one and a brown one and let's get a white one to finish up payment in here one diamond is this my good pickaxe yes and a chest remover version two okay that's the wool next up we're gonna need some wax so let's go over to the cute b oh it's actually called honeycomb how much is it one diamond okay Let's get three of them. There we go. That's one more thing off the list. Okay, let's head over to the Kyoto district. I need copper. Four diamonds per stack. I think I need cut copper. Let's just get like two stacks. There we go. Oh, and while we're here, let's check if we actually sold something here. Ooh, we did sell something. Some leggings and some boots and pickaxes. Oh, yeah. And helmet. They didn't want the chest plate. And a sword. Let's check the tools upstairs. 
Oh yeah, we sold two axes, a shovel, and a hoe. Oh yeah, that's some good profit. Oh yeah, I'm finally selling stuff again. Let's go. But anyway, I guess I need to collect the rest myself. Well, let's start with some acacia here. Let's replant that. And let's go over here to the area where we're gonna build. Alright, first of all, we're gonna need a little bit more room here than we originally planned. So let's remove a bunch of this dirt here. And let's get it all to the same level here. Alright, last bit. There we go. We do need to do a little bit more terraforming here later. But for now, I just want to be able to get the footprint of our build in. Let's just put that there. Oh! Hello, are you having a party? Let's party and party. Hey, go. Don't stand on a block that I can't put in fire. Burn. I can just slaughter the rest of you, I guess. Get out of here. No more distractions. All right, I made some holes here because we are going to make a little basement area here. We need to remove everything in between here. So... Let's do that quickly. And I'm not gonna make anything pretty here. But I'm gonna need to build a little farm. What better area to do that than in our new build. And let's build ourselves a little basement. I don't think I brought enough blocks for this. Yep, I did not bring enough blocks. Who am I hearing? <gasps> oh, it's dangerous there. Get out of here. No, no. I just did this. Come on. Alright, and now it's time to break out the old redstone box. Let's build our contraption right in the corner here. So while I was editing this, I realized this was incredibly boring. So yeah, all I did was make a small glow lichen farm. That's about it for this farm. So let's close this up. And the last things we're gonna need is some glow lichen here and a trapdoor right over there. Let's fill these dispensers with some bone meal. Alright, that's all of them. And now we need some shears. Our shears need efficiency. And of course I'm gonna put mending and unbreaking on it. Let's see, I don't really care about the order here. Because I got enough levels. But we got a shear. Wait, where did the unbreaking go? Oh wait, I grabbed silk touch I think. That's okay. That's better. Alright, let's get back to that farm. Oh, and by the way, this is an ill mango design. So, of course, like always, I'll link it in the description. But anyway, we can turn it on. We can get into the trapdoor. And we're gonna get a whole bunch of glow lichen really quick. And we're already out of bone meal. That was quick, but we have more than enough glow lichen now. So, that's cool. Alright, that's our glow lichen sorted. And now that's done, I'm gonna need to gather some more materials. So, I'm gonna do that, but for you guys, let's start the music and let's get building. Let's... Oh man. <laughs> let's go. That's the first part done. This is the Monument Inn. And it's called the Monument Inn because it's in the street of the Monument. This will probably be called Monument Street or something like that. We finally have a bit of an entry point into our village. And if people want to visit, then we have an inn for them to sleep at. And I've decorated the insides too. I don't do interiors a lot, so I think this is pretty cool. On the first floor here, we have a little bar with some seating area, a nice couch by the fire, a more secluded corner here to hang out with your friends. And over here, like every inn in a fantasy book, there's a little dark corner for the mysterious stranger to sit at. I mean, all inns need that, right? Oh, um, I actually forgot about something here. Let me head over to my starter base quickly. Alright, I'm back. Oh, and don't look at this. We're gonna need to do some landscaping here. I think I'm gonna build a staircase going up here to continue the road, but that's something for later for another episode. Okay, I got myself three saddles. That's not much. But anyway, we have this data pack on the server where we can throw a saddle onto a stair block and then 
you can sit on it. And now we can sit by the fire. So I'm gonna need a lot more saddles. But let's give the mysterious stranger corner a saddle here. And let's put... Oh no. Uh, actually, I'm gonna use this one. Didn't I have a skeleton horse? somewhere anyway if we go upstairs we have a little reading corner with some bookshelves of course some decoration with plants and we have three rooms and it's pretty cramped here but one could sleep here and maybe read a book so this is a two-person room then we have a four-person room with some bunk beds and of course all the rooms have access to a place to refresh in yourself a little faucet and we have another two-person bedroom. Yeah, and that's actually everything. Oh, yeah. We do have an entrance to our basement here. And we can go down and do our glow lichen farming here. And I'm thinking of adding a couple of other smaller farms here. So we can actually use this building too. But I'm not sure about that yet. So that's it for now. This is not everything we're building in this episode. We're gonna be building something else right here. Because if you come over to visit, you might come by horse. And that's actually why I need the other saddle. So I want to make some stables here. So people can park their horses park um i don't think that's the right word for it but i don't really know horse terms anyway we're gonna make some stables here if we have stables of course we need somewhere for the stable master to live so right here we're gonna build another little house with some crops growing a little bench for seating and of course the horses will also get a little field here so they can roam free instead of being pent up in the stables all the time i think we need a horse and i used to have a skeleton horse here i think i lost it that's another reason and why we need the stables over there but we still have this guy so let's get him oh wait he has a saddle already so we can just take him like this there you go you stay there we'll build you something nice and i want to get you a friend oh and by the way i had multiple creeper accidents here and i lost my sword so let's go over to the kyoto district first to get ourselves a new sword there we go that's better oh here you are <laughs> Ah, okay. That's good. That's good. Okay, come on, boy. Let's get you home. We're almost there. And we're home. I'm just gonna park you here for the moment. But let's see. Where would we be able to find a horse? I think maybe if we go this way, we might be able to find some. I guess all the horses will probably be gone already. I actually don't know which biomes to find horses. I don't do a lot with them. I see sheep everywhere. No horses. Oh! Horses, hello. Let's see if you want to be my friend. Oh, that was quick. Only three tries. Let's see, now we have to get all the way back here. That's gonna be a long ride. Maybe we can use an end portal. Let's head over to RKB's nether portal. This is not a very fast horse, but that's okay. I'm probably not gonna use it much. Let's see, I don't think we can go through the portal together, right? No. Hello, horsey. There we go. This is gonna be much quicker. Almost at the shopping district. And there we go. Alright buddy, so let's get you home. Anyway, we can't leave them like this. So, let's hop into another time lapse. And let's build some nice stables. And the living quarters for the stable master. Let's go. Ow. Let's go. I'm an idiot. You know when I said I lost my sword? Well, the creeper explosion was about here. I made five villagers to actually sell saddles here. And I got three shulker boxes of saddles. Then I went to give every seat here a saddle. After that, I went outside to the stables I just built. You'll see that later. I was like, okay, let's put these saddles wait a minute what's that that is my street sweeper somehow when the creeper exploded i put my sword in this barrel how i'm baffled anyway we finished everything our inn is done we have our stable master's house and when you get here you can go through these gates tie up your horse here the stable master has a place to sit and read his books here or something like that while he waits for visitors and he can see outside oh we have some visitors 
so he can come outside get the horses to the stables over here and we've got a couple of them and um i'm missing oh there he is my donkey they like to escape somehow they can jump from this onto the fences here and they can get out. I actually removed some blocks here because they were going out this way. And I can't have my horses running around everywhere. But at least if they go this way, they're in the field over here. So they'll still be safe. Anyway, we've got some seating here and a place to store some books. And we have another room here. I didn't know what to do with this, so I left it blank for now. But on top here we have the stable master's bedroom and that's really cramped but there's a lot of storage for his stuff i don't know what a stable master would have but there's enough room to put his stuff and yeah on the other side here we connected our road and we have three pens here where people can store their horse store their horse stall their horse put their horse park their horse i don't know what the term is but they can put them here and over here was an area where i didn't know what to do with it i made some custom trees and i just used the stamp tool of axiom to put them randomly in different directions and there's actually only three designs of trees here but we have a nice seating area here and this actually became a really cozy corner to be at i might add some decorations here and there but i think for now this is looking pretty good i'm actually really proud of this area i don't think i've ever finished anything in minecraft this well everything is connected and everything is detailed so that's pretty awesome anyway i wanted to make this episode about three weeks ago but since i got hooked on pal world it didn't work out that way but still i hope you enjoyed this episode i will see you in the next one bye bye out no not out